The second form of sales promotions we have is trade promotions. So you might recall that we talked about consumer promotions in a previous lecture, but this time we're going to talk about trade promotions. And what I mean by that is last time I used this idea of a pull strategy for consumer promotions, but trade promotions are more about a push strategy. So what we do is we focus our promotions, our sales promotions on the distribution channel. So our wholesalers and our retailers, and we try to give the distribution channel members an incentive to push our product along to the end consumer. So we're trying to get the help of these channel members to maybe favor our brand over others since most channel members, wholesalers and retailers are going to be dealing with multiple brands. So a lot of our marketing budget is going to go towards these trade promotions because distribution channel members are so powerful and because they often provide the touch point that brands need, right? Brands don't necessarily touch consumers on a face-to-face -face basis but a retailer does. So in that case, you know, we recognize that we have to spend a fairly decent amount of our budget, actually probably more uh, over half of our budget, 70% maybe, um, in order to really incentivize these um, retailers and wholesalers to push along our product. And so we see this becomes a really uh, large expense for marketers. Trade promotions is made up of several key tools, right? We have uh, trade allowances, which are co-op advertising, and I'll talk about that in a moment. We also have trade shows, and you know, depending upon the industry, sometimes trade shows are important and sometimes they're really not, right? A brand like Coca-Cola, um, at least in terms of end consumers, they don't need to do a lot of trade shows. However, you know, when they're looking at um, working through uh, to restaurants and things like that, a trade show may be a really great tool for them to um, get involved uh, with marketing communications. We also have trade incentives and trade contests. Trade incentives are typically um, little cash bonuses, often called spiff money, that uh, a brand will give to a retailer's sales force so that they pitch uh, the, re uh, the brand over others. And trade contests, well, you know, those are just uh, contests devised for retail uh, trade uh, salespeople uh, to try to get them to sell the brand more. And so, um, you know, you might see that a brand like um, Wrangler Jeans might um, give away a Jeep Wrangler to the, um, I don't know, J.C. JCPenney's uh, salesperson who sells the most Wrangler Jeans over a certain period of time. So all of these trade promotions are really designed to get your distribution channel in line behind the brand and pushing it strongly to the end consumer. Let's take a moment and talk about these trade allowances because any form of allowance, it's just like being a kid, right? Um, if your parents or your aunt or your grandparents gave you an allowance, they're giving you money to you know, do stuff, but usually it's you know, in uh, response to you doing something for them like chores, et cetera, right? So brands will give allowances to retailers, um, but the retailer has to do something. So. Cooperative advertising or co-op advertising is one of the key forms of trade allowances that's out there. And basically what it does is a manufacturer will give money or pay for retailers advertising. So when a retailer, let's say Best Buy, right? Best Buy has ads on TV. Best Buy has circulars that they send to us through direct mail. Um, they advertise in newspapers all over the place. Now, the biggest thing about Best Buy's advertising, it's often very brand focused. Um, so, you know, they might be focusing on the Samsung Galaxy, the G4, which is the new phone that's coming out. Um, and how is it that all of the Best Buy ads focus on G4? Well, what Samsung might be doing is providing cooperative advertising dollars to Best Buy. So they say to Best Buy, hey, if you advertise and you include our product, you make it front and center, you give it a starring role in your ad, you meet all these requirements that we've laid out for you, and you know what? We'll pay for that ad. Sometimes they pay for the whole thing. Sometimes they pay for 50%. Sometimes they pay for 80% of the ad. But that's how brands try to get the distribution channel to advertise for them. So trade allowances, cooperative advertising are a really useful tool in terms of trade promotions.